Hello YouTube, Jay here, and welcome back to the Glove Room. Uh, I wanted to do my first unboxing video, but I also have a confession to make. I did not know what an unboxing video was, so ABC underscore Baseball told me, you should do an unboxing video for that K97 that you said that you got. And um, truth be told, another glove came in the mail today from uh, my man Devin Post at DP Gloves, so I figured I'll do that. But then I kind of had to say to myself, I don't know what that is, but I... Uh, I'm pretty sure that I know what it is. It means that uh, you open the box and then you pretend that it's Christmas and that you're going to be elated. But the problem is you already know what's inside of it. So Christmas is ruined. There is no Santa Claus. Um, it was my father the entire time. So uh, sorry if that ruined somebody's childhood. Don't watch glove videos if you don't want your childhood ruined. Um, or at least mine. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit, uh, a little bit about somebody special to me. Um, it's not my wife. It's not my daughter, it's not my brother, my twin brother Tommy, and it's not my parents. It is Craig Brooks at John Quill Sporting Goods down in Smyrna, Georgia. So I sent him two gloves uh, last week, and the thing that I was looking to do was uh, do a web swap from the Pro 1 MTC. This is the precursor to the Pro 204 uh, JJ Hardy model in beautifully rich Horween. And I wanted to switch that out with a, uh, an H-Web instead of that modified trap, and uh, I also wanted to get another glove relaced. And there was an issue with the number of holes, uh, how they lined up with the H-Web, and uh, Craig was worried about the integrity of the glove. I told him, listen, man, I, uh, I trust, I trust your, your opinion. Uh, I definitely want you to uh, uh, do what you think is best. And he said, you know, I, can, I think that I can do it. He looked at a couple of other pictures uh, from T Pez Mitts underscore V-Sticks. That's Terry Pizzola. He works for Victus Sticks. You should probably hit him up with a, uh, with a follow. Uh, Terry's a great guy. And also from the Mitman, and uh, for those of you who are on Instagram, you follow the Mitman because uh, it's Matt Schwartz, of course. Uh, if you post a glove for sale, you definitely want it because you know you're going to get a great piece. So anyway, uh, Craig did a fantastic job um, doing the web swap on this one, and I thank him from the bottom of my heart for being able to do it, uh, for putting up with me, uh, asking a couple of questions, and also um, you know he got it back to me very quickly. The other one that he did was that he relaced uh, this Mizuno Global Elite VOP in black uh, into pink and there's only one reason why I did that and that's for my uh, my uh, beautiful daughter Austin um, I want a game of glove for her. you know I have a glove that I held her in for the first time which is a Wilson A2K OT6 that I'm never gonna use and I'm never gonna sell and I also had a Nike N1 Elite in 11 and a quarter inch that I wanted to be her first glove like I relaced the whole thing and the problem is is that that glove is uh, not incredibly high quality I have other choice words but you can get with me on Instagram or email me at the Jet Stole Home, if uh, you want to get an email about what I think about that glove, or find me on Instagram at Pickle the Beast 417. Um, to be blunt, I didn't like it, and I still don't like it, and uh, and here it is. Uh, I'm not going to sell it because it has sentimental value, but and it's not that I did a bad job with the lace job. It's just that the leather quality itself is uh, is not as high as I was hoping, but uh, it wasn't an incredibly expensive glove, so. Um, Overall, I'm just not as, uh, as impressed with this model. I would still give Nike gloves a shot. I like what they're doing with the Vapor 360, even though it's kind of a polarizing model. Uh, but I'm very interested in how they use the Flywire technology and that synthetic uh, material in order to construct a high-quality glove. So I know some people don't like it, but, but that's all right. So on to the unboxing. I also have another confession to make is that I did open it up, and I started to do this video, and the box was incredibly wet, and then the box absolutely disintegrated in my hands. So... Um, Here's the knife that I used, and this is the glove itself. Now, Devin did an absolutely fantastic job packaging it, um, but he did throw a lot of packing peanuts in there, and it's like I aspirated uh, packing peanuts, so luckily I'm not allergic. But, uh, so he threw the air pockets in there. That's a very professional touch, Devin. I'm very impressed with you right now. Uh, but this glove, if I haven't mentioned it, and I don't think that I did, is a GMP 55. It's 12 and a half inch. It's Mizuno Pro Limited. It's a fantastic glove. Um, it's a game day model of Hideki Matsui for those of you who know who he is as a World Series MVP um, And also Yankees fans. Uh, come on guys. I mean just respect the bird. All right. We're in Birdland now This is my house, um, but then Yankees fans say oh, 27 championships I really don't have to respond to that response to that because last championship that the Orioles had was in 1983 and I was one and the majority of you were not born yet so anyway GMP 55. It's a beautiful herringbone single post web in 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half inch. Um, it's navy. And uh, if you guys want to see another navy love, the glove, uh, check out my Instagram. I have a Pro 1000 uh, H web in 12 and a quarter inch that came from Glover Al 28, and it is absolutely marvelous. Um, this glove also 
has uh, that white tanners that Devin relaced it in. And actually, I think you did a pretty darn good job, man. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way you did that. You got a perfect square knot there on the pinky. And um, these are made of uh, Deguchi leather. It's uh, Japanese tan. And uh, I believe that these are U.S. steer hide. Uh, I don't think that it's, it might not be Northern Euro European kip, but I've already had issues with kip leather uh, in one of my previous videos. So I'm just gonna stop with leather type, but Deguchi is absolutely fantastic. It's incredibly soft and flexible, but it's gonna maintain its shape. And uh, it's also very durable. Um, 4D advanced technology, you're gonna see that on your, uh, your Pro Limiteds in the finger. And you're going to ask yourself, what's the difference between you know, what they did about a year and a half ago with their 3D technology and what about the 4D technology? The 3D technology is when Mizuno put in a lot of time and a lot of data to determine how baseball players catch the baseball. Uh, everybody's got different hands. Everybody has different styles. And uh, it's very dynamic how we actually catch a, a ball. So they wanted to create position-specific breakpoints inside of the glove and uh, to make sure that it flexed appropriately uh, to ease the catch as much as possible. Uh, instead of putting some sort of a weird flex on a glove and thus ruining the shape. 4D technology improved upon that 3D technology by uh, inserting reinforcements into the fingers and the palm to make sure that 3D technology uh, worked like a charm. So thanks for going 4D. Uh, you guys are great over at Mizuno and uh, I absolutely love your products. I've done two Mizunos here today. So this is the uh, Mizuno Pro Limited uh, GMP 55. Uh, it's going to be my backup gamer in the outfield. I, I absolutely am, am more and more impressed with the color uh, the more I look at it. And uh, I think it's going to have a good flex. It does need a lot of work to be broken in. Uh, but thank you very much, Devin, uh, for your, your hard work in reconditioning the leather and, uh, and then relacing the glove itself. And again, for all the other people that I mentioned, like uh, GloverAl28 on Instagram, Tpez, Mitts, underscore V-Sticks, The Mitt Man, Glove Love, ABC underscore Baseball. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, your support uh, over the last couple of months. Uh, I enjoy talking to each and every one of you. Um, so this is me signing off. You guys have yourself a great night. Stay grassy.